is different? What's with the boring, weird background, Jillian? Well, I moved into college. Sorry for the white background. You will have a more entertaining one soon, but not today. Sorry. The single best piece of writing advice I've ever gotten was from Ernest Hemingway when he said, write drunk, edit sober. Now I'm not telling you to drink. If you are watching this, you are probably in high school, and unless you are 21, or it is legal to drink in the country where you currently are, this is illegal. Don't do it. But this is advice that's actually pretty good. So the idea of the write drunk edit sober theory is when you are writing for the first time, you don't want to think about it. You want to just brain dump. Go out. Barf it out. Puke it out. Make it so. You have time to go back and edit it later. This for me is actually a really useful thing for writing essays, especially college essays. Your first thought is not always going to be your best one. Your first draft of your essay probably is only going to have two or three sentences that make it into the final draft. You might change your idea entirely, and that's totally okay. Uh, so an example of this. There is a college essay, I don't know for what school, but I saw it online. It's really cool, so I thought about it. About what your superpower is. I actually have a theory about superpowers where everyone has one. They're just, you know, mundane. Not all of us can be Superman. Like, I have the superpower that I am remarkably good at curing hiccups, which I know is not a useful one, but it is useful for everyone around me. This idea up to my eldest sister, Rachel, and she said, well, I don't know what my superpower is. What's my superpower, Jillian? And we sat and we thought about it. We couldn't really come up with a good one. We decided her kind of cop-out was metaphysical juggling. And we talked about how she, you know, did 10 million different activities. She didn't really have a brand when she was applying to college because she was, she liked history and mock trial, but also she volunteered and worked with children in special education and did some music. It, she really was all over the place. So she says that it was metaphysical juggling where she learned how to balance all of these different things in these friend groups and whatever and still came out smelling like a rose. Um, this to me is kind of a cop-out essay. Uh, it's not a great college essay because everyone does that. Like, let's be honest, everyone does 10 million different things. Even me, who I was really strongly based uh, in high school on the arts and performing in different contexts, in music and competition and theater, you know, I still had lots of other things going on. Everyone has that. That's not that strange. Uh, so, we drove to Virginia. Actually, she flew, but we went to Virginia. She was helping me unpack and, and we go out to this nice restaurant and we both go to use the restroom before we get dessert. And there's only one stall. I said, no, 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 you go first. Um, and when we're walking out of the bathroom, I go, Rachel, I know what your superpower is. Because like I said, everyone has a weird one. And my sister's is, is that she is the flash of peeing. Just is. Uh, the idea with that is that that essay wouldn't have come to us originally. She was gonna write a cliche essay about metaphysical juggling when really there was a really funny essay about um, efficiency going on. Um, we went to Disney World when I graduated high school and she graduated college, it was both of our graduation presents, and it helped our Disney trip a lot. It's a useful thing in life. It's a courteous thing too. Um, she could talk about efficiency. It could be a funny essay if you spin it right. So don't be afraid to change your topic. Don't be afraid to ruminate on it, think on it. Um, because again, you can write drunk and edit sober. You cannot write drunk and edit sober, but you can metaphorically write drunk and edit sober. Your first instinct may not be your best instinct, so let things stew and keep editing every time you go. If you like the prospect and you want some more advice or you want some cool college life videos from the lovely Sarah W, uh, click here to subscribe. I'm hoping that this is gonna work. Sorry for the clicky video. After sorority recruitment, the quality of these videos is gonna go way up.